What is up everyone and welcome back. It has been a while since I've been able to do some ginger. Getting into the track Ape today. It is their new single. It's coming off their micro EP. Details of which should be released soon. They're currently on tour across the U.S. and doing well. Ginger is a band that really blew up last year and is a great example of what can happen if the right song, the right band, and the right exposure on platforms like social media work. They released the re-recording, the live session for Pisces, and a lot of people were utterly floored by it. Most people hadn't had a chance to hear a female singer with that beautiful clean range that Tatiana is capable of, able to deliver those crushing growls that she's also capable of. And reaction channels covered it and they went nuts. It really did. That went viral and it's led to a lot more success from the band, bigger tours, tours here to the States, as well as other places they hadn't had a chance to play yet. And it was awesome. It was phenomenal to see a band like that catch on with the right track, truly at the right time. So the track Ape is, is out. It's been out for probably a week or so now. I figured I'd go ahead and get to it. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to hearing the growth and progression of their sound, especially now that they've had a chance to be on the road more and develop. The band is Ginger. The track is Ape. And here we go. Certainly familiar ginger riffage to start it out here. Really killer bass work. Riffs are certainly familiar and groovy like they have been. I like she's I like that she's using a bit more of that mid-range in her growl there. I like this big groove, man. Some of the stuff the bass player is doing reminds me of Sean Sindor, who used to be part of Byzantine. Really interesting clean she's using there. That's an awesome shift. Really like the way that feel slowly drew into it. Into a big familiar riff and groove. Definitely a little more simple and reserved. Other than the bass line, than some of the, what, I, what I've heard before. Certainly going to be easier to play live. I like the clean she's utilizing here quite a bit. Really killer vibrato there to close that phrase out. Really cool they chose to use a blast there. I like that placement. I like the choice to come out of that blast into a groove. Really nice vocal there. I really like the choice for a breakdown here. I 
I got the polyrhythm going on. I like the vocal, I like the layering to close that out. Nice bit of intensity. Let's go ahead and let it play out for all of its worth here. All right. That was Ginger. The track was Ape. That is their new track coming off their forthcoming EP. I think it's really strong. I think it's a really solid track. I'm not utterly blown away with it, but I certainly enjoy it. I wasn't overly in love with some of the the cleans he was using at first. For some reason, that tone just didn't jive with my ears. But she's using such an arsenal of vo voices on the track. I also like the development of Tatiana's mid-range growls. They sound much more clear here, more coherent. Seems like she's got more control in that D in that mid-range to slightly lower range of her aggressive clearly developed over more time singing in the studio more time really figuring out what her voice is capable of live on a long tour because you will figure that out fast when you're singing aggressive and you're touring like the way they're touring right now the bass player is a beast he's such a great he's so fun to listen to there's a lot of really cool hammer-on stuff. I love hearing finger players that are playing more aggressive, heavier metal. And it's really fun to listen to them. The riffs overall, they're good. They're not overly technical. Like truly, the, the real technical parts of the band are the bass player and all of his, the little nuances and stuff he's got going on and their drummer. Their, their, their current drummer... He's got some great chops. I can certainly tell that he's had some school training, and because he does the, he does the jazzy stuff really well. Go see his go see the live or the the live version of Pisces, which is if you look in the corner of the video there, it's up in the corner. His and then go listen to the live the album version, which had a different drummer on there, and you can certainly hear his chops and hear the, the nuance that he adds to a track. I really like the use of blasts in the back half of the track. I think they're cleverly placed and they have, they're really effective the way they're utilized. You know, they're not really just blasting the blast. They're using it for coloring and aggression in certain parts. I love how they came out of that blast and into their groove. Some really killer songwriting choices here. I like the break at the end. I like that little bit of vocal layering. It's a really solid track. It's really it's it's shows an evolution in their songwriting, and I think it'll certainly be easier than some of the than some of their tracks with their previous records to pull off live and to pull off really really well and to pull off incredibly tight. So. Certainly looking forward to hearing the EP. I will be very happy to get my hands on it. My guess is an EP is going to come out because Nuclear Blast probably wants to get some more content from them out, get another record out, and then keep them on tour, and then eventually let get them in for a full length. And they're clearly road dogging it. They're working their tails off to capitalize on the success of the past year. And congratulations to them. They really put their hearts and souls into this. And I'm really happy to hear the development. Good stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I cannot wait to hear more of them as the EP comes out and get more details on what's going to happen. Thank you guys. It's certainly been a while since I've had a chance to do any ginger that I haven't heard. And... I'm glad this meets expectations. Did it meet yours? Were you happy with it? Do you prefer their older stuff? 
If you're a fan, let me know in the comments. Let me know what your thoughts are. I certainly want to hear them. Thank all of you. I love you. Thank you to my law enforcement, military, veterans, and first responders for what you do every single day. As always, you guys have been awesome. I've been bald, man. I will see you in the next one. Be excellent to each other. Keep that banging.